Hi everyone and welcome. This is Lori of More Art from the Heart. I uh, thought I'd share with you a project that I'm working on today. A lady uh, bought one of my Christmas baby shoes that I had on Artfire and asked if I could make um, baby shoes similar to this uh, for uh, the baby shower that they're doing for their first grandchild that will be born and she ordered 10 of them and I thought I'd share with you um, the last one as I put it together so you can see how I did that. I'm using the camera on my um, stand as usual and I usually film straight down with it because it doesn't um, tilt very well. I'm hand holding it right at the moment. I'm going to put it back in the stand so it's going to be just a little wobbly for a few moments till I get it back in the stand and then I'll hold up the individual shoes and let you see what I did with them. Okay, so hold on just a moment. Let me get this back in the stand. It's much easier to do a tutorial with it overhead than to try to hold it or do it from behind. So let me get set back up here. Alrighty, so let me uh, give you a quick look at this one here will be for the, the mom-to-be. Um, so it's I've done it just a little bit different to make it a little more special. It has an antique baby spoon with it and a frame. Um, it's got a little picture in it at the moment. I will show you what I did with that so that she can actually replace this picture and put her own baby picture in here. So um, again, I took um, antique old shoes. These are around the 1950s, 1960s, um, uh, my guess anyway, the shoes. And I started by covering them with gesso, uh, spraying them, and then using the glitter over top of that, just like I did with the Christmas shoes, and then a sealer over top of that. Then added the lace and some trims around here. Um, some baubles on the front. Each one of these has the same color combination but because the shoes themselves individually are a little different each one I've made the arrangements in them each just a little bit different so each one's a little special. Um, with this one here like I said I, I uh, made a special frame um, out of a magnetic strip and I'm just going to take this part off and show you. So uh, this is wired in down in the stand and this is just a little piece of magnetic um, sheet that I had and then I've just backed it with a piece of cardboard. Um, the frame itself is one of the little um, ones you can get at Michaels that have the magnets on them so that she'll be able to just snap in her own picture and um, See, and it holds really nicely. Um, and so it should just slide this off. And, and of course, it's going to be a little hard with me trying to do it one handed, but I'll give you the idea. There we go. Oops. A little difficult to do it one handed there. There we go. Alrighty, so her shoe is just going to be just a little bit different, a little more special. Um, I found these cute little uh, baby rattles that actually rattle to put in there with it. Um, I have some of these sprays that I sell in my art fire store. I also sell some of these um, different types of, of silk uh, flowers and sprays in my art fire store as well. I'd like to be able to find enough of these shoes to be able to sell um, just the shoes alone. I'm going to keep my eye, eye out for more. Um, I usually end up finding them in antique stores. So I did find a good haul of them um, in Missouri the last time I was there. As most of you know when you saw my Christmas video shoe one. Um, okay, I found um, these really cute little drums, blue drums. Uh, so I added those in there to make the um, individual ones. It's good. Again, it's got the little rattle in it. It's got some little baubles on there. I found some little glass baubles to put on. Some little white roses. And some tool. I'll show you how I put this together in just a second here. Um, they, I couldn't find it quite it, uh, enough of the just plain blue drums. 
but I did find some silver ones and of course the silver went real well in the arrangement as well so and then they've got some little blue beads at the back I did take and put um, on some of the shoes just to make them individually different um, some little flat back iridescent trim like on this one here Alrighty, and let me show you how I put these together. I'm going to move a few of these aside here and get set up with uh, the last shoe so that you can see how I put that together. Alrighty, so um, of course, like I said, what I started with was a very used um, antique baby shoe and um, covered it with gesso. And then I actually took an emery board just before um, I used the sprays and stuff on it and actually took back off some of the gesso here and there in places to kind of still give it a real little vintage, you know, type feel to the shoe and instead of just being all white because that would make it look just brand new. And we kind of, we, that was the look I was going for and um, was the vintage look here. So um, then I did the sprays over top and then once that was dried, I used a sheer ribbon and um, laced it up. Uh, these are on wires actually, um, and then tied directly in behind the bow so that they're attached well. Um, I stuffed the front of the shoe with uh, usually paper towels or something like that just to bring up the roundness of the shoe and then I used a dry florist foam um, to put inside here. There are two different types of foams, um, a wet foam and a dry foam uh, because if you were using real live flowers you would want to use the wet foam that you actually take and you soak ahead of time but we're going to use all dry um, pieces in this arrangement so you just want to put a piece of dry one in there and this just um, I just barely trimmed the edges of it and really stuffed it down in there so it's going to hold really well while we put our other pieces in here Let me bring my camera down a little bit show you what we did next so um, just picked out some different kinds of laces for each one of them um, this is the one I'm going to use on this one here and uh, I'm just using my three in one and we're going to go ahead and and um, start around here and give it a little glue and get our lace on there. I think these are really going to be fun to have for a baby shower. Um, I mean, they they would make first of all a really, really, really good. Um, center table direction you know um, decorations like you know if you want to put you had several tables out there you could put these on as the decorations and then hand them out to the guests afterwards um, I'm need to trim this one just a little bit I try to trim in between so that you get an even piece on there and I just brought that around to here. You know, you could add all kinds of laces on these shoes and stuff. I just wanted to be able to still see um, some of the old shoe on there. And then I have one more piece of lace. So we're going to go around here with the one more piece of this lace. I really like this glue because it's a little bit forgiving. Uh, and and I'm, I'm just not good with hot glue. I burn myself way too much with hot glue. And, and I kind of like this. This takes just a few more seconds to dry and I, you get a bit sticky at times but um, it really I, I like working with it. I know there's a lot of other people that aren't as crazy about it and they use other types but this is one of my favorites. As you may know if you watch any of my videos. Alrighty. And, and that'll dry as we're working on the arrangement but it's going to hold it in place until then. So when you're making a floral arrangement, for those who have not done it before, I worked in a florist shop for quite a while, so I learned all kinds of things like this. Um, you take um, 
I'm going to take some so fine piece over here. So like this one here, these were three individual wires and I actually uh, used a, a stiffer piece of wire right down the center and the one I just happen to have that, that works well enough to it's bendable but yet stiff enough is the 20 gauge wire. And so I've got a piece of the regular wire in there and then I use my white floral tape to wrap that and wrap um, all the different pieces that I put in here just it really helps hold them uh, a little bit more so first what you want to do is you want to start with in this case your filler and um, because of the type of filler I'm using then I'm, I'm going to do it this way and I just took and cut my tool in strips netting um, I think it, some people call it um, there's different names for it but I took it it's a real sheer real fine tool in the blue and then I found with this arrangement um, three of them around the edges seem to to work just about right just placing the three around there we go and one over here oh, that might be a little long Let's see if we can get down there no it's gonna work okay and so you've got that kind of as your base to start with and I don't like the floral um, foam to show at all. And this is just a little piece of Christmas um, garland that I had, and I took all the Christmassy stuff off of it. But I like I like the way it's kind of shiny and everything. And this is easy to just kind of place down in here. And as I stick things through here, that it's going to hold that in there, and it's going to cover the foam and it's going to add just a little bit of sparkle down in there. So this is what I start with. I'm going to get that look there placed around like that and um, then it's easiest if you go ahead and take your main elements. Um, the little drums were had a little hole in them here. Um, there's styrofoam in the middle and so again I, I um, put a wire in through there and let's put just kind of work it down in there and that's too long so I'm going to need to cut some of that off. So you need a good pair of wire cutters to do this. And there we go. Alrighty. And these little baby rattles. Uh, these are absolutely adorable. You can even see the little um, pebbles inside there that they used for these. So with this one, whoops, I have this turned the wrong way. I have to be very careful. I broke off a couple of these already. Let me see if I can bend this. Hmm. You know what's going to be easier? I'm going to move this over to this side of the arrangement. I found that when I bent, bent one of these once before, I actually broke the rattle. So. I'm going to move the drum over here and because the rattles kind of shape this direction and this is the direction. The tip is up here. So you can see that I want it to go in the arrangement. Kind of sticking out there. Alrighty, so you're just going to arrange each of your little elements in there. I I just start with the main ones and work around them. I, I just find that easier, easier for me to do than to um, to, to put in the other pieces and then add the main ones. So we've got a little uh, set of three beads and okay let's get this flower in here. Cut the extra off and I just face it towards me and start working the arrangement that direction. I oftentimes pull out things after a while and like, you know, I'll rearrange things until they look just right. Um, I do sell these sprays on my, it comes in, let's see, one, two, three, about four or five of these are on one stem and I split them apart and use just parts of them like this. That's what we're going to do here. And we're going to stick that down in there. I was so pleased to be able to, to, to do um, do an arrangement for their baby shower. I, I think it's pretty special to be able to be a part of someone's special day like that. Let's see. Get 
this around here. I do try to kind of finish things out all the way around because you never know if they're going to use it in the center of a table. Um, you know, if the back of the arrangement doesn't look quite finished and it's not going to look very good. So let's see. We want to get some of the blue, f these ones in there. So put that down right down in here. Oops. This one, the tape's coming off. And with these ones, I'm finding that the this is a little too long on them in places. So I'm just taking and clipping, I don't know if you can see that, oops, sorry, um, down to the next set of beads. So it still looks finished at the end of the bead, but then you don't have ones that are too long out there. Dump off the extra. <laughs> it floated around inside there. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, let's get a piece. Let's get this back here. This little piece back here. Kind of add a little more color to the back of it. And it kind of matches the drum. So I've been using these. Kinda, and it helps flatten out the back of the um, tool back here. Alrighty. And these cute little roses. Got to have some of those in there. And how about... Looks like I need a little bit of a blue flower back here. So I can do custom orders for people. Um, I do require half down to begin with and then uh, completed cost before um, I mail them out. So if you have something in mind that you'd like me to um, make for you, you can let me know and we can work out the details for that. Let's get some flowers. Let's get these in here. See, and they're all going to go together um, because we stayed with the same color colors, even though they're you know arranged a little different in each one of them. But I thought that was kind of cute because it makes it kind of unique. You know, you're, if you're going to give these out to your guests, each one's going to get um, a special one. It's going to be special for them. See what else do we need in here? Yeah, a little bit around in that way. Again, I've got these ones are a little too long right here. Pull it over. That's not too bad for just stuffing that one in. Sometimes I pull them out in and out several times before I get get exactly the look that I'm going for. We need a little bit of flowers right back in here. It's going to take this and just pull these apart because I, I just want that one right there with the leaf. And they have a wire in them so you want to make sure that you're using wire cutters or some old scissors with it. I'm going to get this underneath the drum here. There we go. Oh, can you see that? I have another one completed. It's little bubbles and goodies on it. A little drum in it. I think that's going to make a really cute um, shower gift or decoration for your baby shower. I'd love to see what one of these is going to look like in pink. I'm, I'm out of these shoes at the moment, but I'm going to keep an eye out for some more because I'm definitely going to do up uh, some different different ones. I, I think this in pink for a girl would be adorable. Well, thank you very much for sharing your time and your day with me. I'd love to hear your comments and you can take, um, check out um, more pictures on my blog. The link will be down below and um, feel free to uh, Check out the Art Fire store. As I finish projects like this, I put them on my Art Fire store for sale. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.